Hello, I'm the Budget Modder and this is episode 35 of my Burger Panzer and King Tiger diorama build. If you're watching this then please subscribe to my channel, give the video a like, leave a comment and ring my bell. That would be brill. Thank you. To begin with we're going to be working on all the support parts that hold the crane when it's not in use. So without further ado let's crank up that speedy uppy thing and crack on. There you go, that's those supports glued in place. Now for some tools. No, the mechanical tools, not those sort of tools. There we go, tools cleaned up and glued in place. Hmm, what next? Oh! Go on then, it'd be rude not to. Some lovely PE. Here we go. There we go, that's the P done. And here's something I did off camera. Psst, that's YouTube speak for bugger. I forgot to film it. A nice little crane hoist. Ah, you busser. Karma strikes back. That went in deep, did that. Teach me not to film things. And again. Bloody hell, I wasn't that bad. Now that's over and I've stopped injuring myself. Oh, yes, as an aside, remember kids, modelling is dangerous. Anyway, I'm now going to do something, hopefully, less dangerous. And fit the chain to the hoist. Here we go. I also realised I needed to make some hooks up for the crane. There we go, that's the hook for this part of the hoist. As we're making hooks, we may as well make the rest of them. Here we go. There we have the other hooks made. All I did to make these was just wrap a bit of wire around some circular pliers jobs are good. Now let's get some more PE done. Here I'm making really, really, really 
tiny sleeves for the hooks to join onto the cables. Oh, by the way, did I mention how tiny they were? There we have the hook cable sleeves made. And now for some even more tiny PE. Some brackets to go on the Hepta. So let's get these done shall we? Here we go. Yep, I'm still working on them. I think they took me ooh, nearly two hours to do. For some bizarre reason, I found it very relaxing. Weird, I know. Here you go, this is what I'm trying to make, but so much smaller. Well, it's time to bring out the big lenses. Let's see if this helps, shall we?
Okay, that's not working. So I'm going to try these. Aber's German Clamps and Clamps. No, it's not Clamps and Clamps, it's Clamps and Clasps. Which is 35A for Alpha 93. So, see how we get on. I just remembered I used parts of this set as I knackered a bit from the kit. There you go. That's it. We've made two working clasps. Go us. Anyway, let's get them fitted before I decide to fanny around with them and spend another hour working on them. So here goes. There we have two working clasps for the jack. Anywho, this seems like a good place as any to end. So thank you for watching episode 35. If you want to see what happens in episode 36, please subscribe to my channel, help it grow, like the video, leave a comment and ring my bell. Remember folks, stay safe, keep on modeling.